there, Aries. This is Kim. Going to do a reading for you all today for the week of May 10th through May 16th. And let me make sure my little feather is telling me where the boundaries are right there. Okay, perfect. All right, so calling in Aries spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get some messages for their greater good. I've got ink on my finger. Ignore that. Okay, signs and symbols. That's sacred signs and symbols for Aries. What do we have for Aries? Mar May. Why did this say March? Goodness. May 10th through May 16th. This is so many. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. All right, red hot chili peppers on the bottom. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're gonna breeze through these because that's a lot. Nike sneakers, that's the runner, the avoidant, or to dodge. To dodge, are you dodging a person or a situation here, Aries? Oh, Spider-Man, okay, maybe this is you. Superhero, superhero Aries, invincible, and vulnerable, and sneaky, and it, that's sneaky sneakers. <laughs> sneaky sneakers, Aries. Then we have clouds uh, to be in a fog, a haze, or a confusion. It could always be worse instead of clouds. It could be the smoke card, so I'm all right with that. That's just a little... Maybe a little confused. Then I think it goes like this. Leather belt, eight of swords kind of energy here. Tied down, restricted, or boundaries. Either issues with somebody else and your boundaries or vice versa, either one. So I think when we realize that maybe we have been having some wishful thinking and that truth is, is that we feel stuck here. We feel stuck and we definitely are postponing something and sneaking around. So what do we do? We drink some coffee and we wake up early in the morning and we start to fix our situation because Aries usually is very independent, self-sufficient, and they can, they can do it. If anybody can do it, Aries can do it. It's like Leo, but with a little bit more attitude. <laughs> uh, fairy, wishes fulfilled, your dreams, and looking at things very innocently. So looking at things through innocent eyes, maybe you're doing something that you've never done before, but you're doing it. So it's through innocence. Everything is magical through the innocence eyes. Armor, something ends up probably this stuff. Probably this crap right here leaves you um, having your defenses up. Like you've been there before and you don't want to do that again. But I'm telling you, if you have the energy to look at things through innocence, fresh eyes, then try not to pull things from the past that we may have called negative and associate with anything that's brand new or else it's really not brand new. So yeah, I think you need to look at it like that. Um, Aries, we're going to jump into the psychic tarot. I think this is a way of like cheating <laughs> with tarot. I definitely think it is. But what we're going to do is pull a Celtic cross for you for the week of May 10th through the 16th. And if we need to clarify it, we'll use the tiny tarot over there. <clears throat> but I got these for the days that I want to be lazy. That would be today. All right, Aries, what is the Aries issue? What is the issue here for Aries? And these cards might get a little stuck because of being new. What is the issue for Aries? Your base chakra. Things that keep you rooted. Things that keep you rooted. Very close to that color anyway, huh? Your base chakra. Number one, breaking away from this, becoming independent, self-sufficient, like I was saying. Sometimes things can leave us a little cold, a little bitter, but we'll be all right. 
All right, so the base chakra here. The need to stay rooted, to stay rooted, and making sure that your ideas for manifestation and your visions travel up through all chakras. Not real. The goal is really, I guess, of this reading is to open up all your chakras. I would say that. So for Aries, let's let this reading open their chakras for them and remove any blocks. All right, so this is three of swords energy, right? Three heartache and loss. Heartache and loss. Many ways to experience loss. What's interesting is it's it's got like the area of her base chakra lit up. Wow. Okay, so maybe a ch the challenge i guess is completely getting out of a heartache situation or something that left you feeling really sorrowful sad okay what is the root <laughs> the root is the base chakra what's the heart of the matter here for aries no too many oh goodness okay trapped in fear like i said this is that eight of swords energy here tied down, restricted, and then trapped in fear. Perhaps you're coming out of this, though, as it was kind of in the reverse, but I wasn't going to take reverse with these. But I, I will, if I notice it, I will acknowledge it. You're trapped in a fear of your own prison. Um, yeah. There's a song by Alec Benjamin called, I think it's called Mind Mind in a Prison or something like that. Anyway, it's really good. It kind of reminds me of that. So, what has you feeling guilty, Aries? Why do you feel so guilty? Is it because we're sneaking around? <laughs> All right, what's the past position? What's the past position? for Aries is well it looks like you need some peace and solitude right <clears throat> it's like you need some peace and solitude and I see this kind of like as the um, I see this as the nine of Pentacles so more than yeah more than nine of no I think it's nine of Pentacles let's keep going and I will get um, clarifying for, for pretty much like all of these, really. What's the present issue for Aries? What's the present issue we have for Aries? Look at that. Triumph. All right, so triumph, guys. This is you. I, I don't really care what they say this card is about. It's like in the past you really researched some things and you let go of and you surrendered to somebody else or some a higher power like stepping in and now this is you being really triumphant it's kind of giving me the feeling of knight of wands being like fat forward fast moving maybe traveling something like that too so a triumph nonetheless a triumph standing up for yourself really going at it defending yourself defending anything that you do because it's all your experience no matter what that experience is all right near future for aries whoa that was quick two movement choices and decisions so things might really be changing for you and you know, I see this person who's like, okay, I've got all these things I can focus on. And say the person is Aries consciousness, they're collective. You're looking at um, clouds, for one thing, clouds, clouds. So you got your head in your clouds, maybe a very emotional, wishful thinking. Then you have the plant, which is stepping through um, the door of nature being in nature, healing with nature, opening your heart chakra, being really connected by the root, by the root, very grounded to Gaia. 
And then we have the two of the rings or the, uh, what would we call that? I guess we call it two of cups. Yeah, two of cups probably. So you have that choice too. You have that choice too. Or you have what looks like the four of pentacles, but I think it's more. I think it's six there. So you can choose to focus on your pentacles too. The choice is yours. I think this is, you know, depends on what area you want to focus your energy on. I think this is two of wands energy because it feels like it. It feels like it's fiery and it feels like it's trying to let you know that you need to focus on something. <clears throat> All right, how are you feeling, Aries? How's Aries feeling? Thanks for subscribing too, guys. I don't know if I mentioned that. If you want a private reading, I do those for donations still for a little while, so check out the box below for that information. That was my two cents. There we go. Oh, crown shocker, guys. Oh, it made my crown shocker tingle just saying it. Seven, eight, nine, seven, seven. All right, so crown chakra. When your crown chakra opens up, things become less foggy, less hazy because you're getting like direct. I feel like that's where you get the channeling from. I feel like like a lot of things spiritual might enter the crown chakra and, and follow that flow of energy like that. All right, so crown chakra, being able to channel for sure. We have moving on, Aries. We have moving on. Looks like cycles, seasons, change, cycles. All right, what's the external situation for our Aries? Okay, seven. Look, seven, 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 guys. Wow. All right, so externally, we have seven of deception and envy, which is seven of swords. Somebody could be deceptive around you. Heck, maybe that energy is your own. Maybe you're meaning to be deceptive. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know the situation, and I don't judge people's situations or experiences. All here for different reasons. So uh, I'm not sure if, if this is you taking off the mask and letting go of that energy of deception or looking into somebody else's deception to you and not letting it go any farther. Maybe this is your own self-deception with the leather belt energy or the um, feeling trapped in fear because I don't think you are. What is the hopes and fears for Aries? Hopes and fears. Okay, I think we've got all of them now. Oh, that your wishes come true. Hopes and fears are that your wishes come true, Aries. This is the hopes and fears. <laughs> I would fear that too. <laughs> it's a horrible feeling. Being discontent. Discontent, not comfortable, not really that happy. Um, it doesn't feel like anything major is really happening. Look at that, two, three, four. Um, it doesn't feel like anything major is happening here, but I don't know. It's like there's so many exciting things that this person can see, but they're really withdrawing within themselves and they're focusing on the things that they lack or their discontentment or boredom in a situation. They're turning inward, going to darker areas within themselves, though, not necessarily a bad thing. And then I think this is truly part of your hopes and fears too. Triumphant success. And that's your ace of swords. And that is your victory, you know. Whether it's comfortable or not to hear the truth, the ace of swords, that clarity that comes in like a lightning bolt, that will help you. And then this is your outcome, I feel. Like this is your outcome. Look at that. Two balance, but it says 11. <laughs> but I'm looking at it as two because of two, two. Or 11, okay. Or 111. Yeah, this is definitely balance and success here. This is to a swords balance. No, you know what? I don't know. This isn't a class of its own because look, it's the two of and and shoot, he's balancing everything. He's balancing everything. He could be focused on everything, balancing everything. You could be balancing everything, Aries. 
it is the waiting game. Two, 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 two. Yep. Okay. So the waiting game. I like that. I'm going to put that right here. That's that hangman energy, but the waiting game. All right, Aries, let's get you some more cards, unless you want me to clarify. I guess I could clarify, couldn't I? What's going on, Tarot, with this base chakra and the three of swords, please? Can you give us information on the base chakra? All right, I'm uh, back. Everything just kind of fell over to the side, so it was a mess for a minute. So, we have five of cups crown chakra maybe that's where we're releasing releasing um clinging on to the past feelings we have triumph and then what flipped out was the devil in reverse so maybe this is triumph over well capricorn or this is triumph over some of your vices the not so good vices that we have that really weren't serving us and then here working on this trapped in fear and look, this solitude, I feel like since it's with the Empress, it's about what are you going to birth to life? And maybe this is past energy, but this is creation. And it's lucky. That's lucky creation. It flourishes. It's successful beyond any kind of regular amount of success. This is not regular. This is not ordinary. So the temperance card is letting you know that... Um, this issue, this trapped in fear issue, is being taken care of, being taken care of by your angels here with the temperance. And also that uh, sometimes relates to Sagittarius. So let's get some angel number messages, guys. I, I think the rest is pretty, um, you know, it's kind of, it, it may, you know, I get it. So I think you just need a lot of balance, a lot of two here. So a lot of balance, you need some focus, and to realize that this truth will come in and it will really help you make a decision to go towards balance, and that this is just a waiting game right now. You're just in the middle of a waiting game, which is not usually fun anyway. So I'm going to take all of those. Seems like a lot, but I'm going to take them. So 15 is the first one. I am wise. Your love for others is powerful, and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings you into contact with a variety of people, all who would benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. Well, that's sweet. Then, one of my favorites, 333, all about creation, and you know that's 333, and that's 3. It says you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. So no pressure, <laughs> no pressure at all. Just be a light worker to all of humanity, please. <laughs> okay, so 999, thank the past for your lessons and leave them where it belongs so you can make the best of this life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by you and only you because you are unique. Number one, you are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance are powerful and they will help you get through the rough times and reach success. Number one, I am innovative. And a 666 probably means to keep your vibrations up and watch your thinking so it's not leaning towards the off-balance negative thoughts, okay? Automatic negative thoughts. Um, it says it's a wake-up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your, vibra your vibration to a positive frequency. I am centered. I would have to smack that right in the center too. All right, let's get, um, let's see here. Let's get some angel cards. Angel, um, ask the angels. I think that's called ask the angels. So you can ask them questions and I'll draw three cards or you can wait to just see what I throw out and how it relates to your situation. It's not gonna be problematic. We'll do it like this. Number one for Aries, number one. 
It's up to you, Aries. It's up to you. Number two for Aries. Ask your angels, which is what I thought this game was. Ask your angels. All right. Number three. Number three. Communicate clearly. Hey, and remain positive. Remain positive. All right. Let's use these tea leaves now and see what we can wrap up your reading or close your reading to. Hopefully something positive. It's not a bad reading. I mean, it's good reading. It's just really telling you to take control of your thoughts. Watch your thoughts, please. Dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. Seahorse, family matters. Torch might be talking about a uh, Leo Aries or Sag. So torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Okay, four, bird flying. News is on the way. And I think we're going to stop at six for love and harmony. Five, bell, an announcement. Maybe it's what you're birthing. Four, and then harp. Great happiness. Cheers. Great happiness. All right. Thanks, Aries. Sending you all love and light. I hope you all enjoy this week coming up and join me for your next readings. Bye-bye.